Hello everyone, Zank Hill here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm so excited to talk about God of War Ragnarok. And before I start, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. So now let's talk about this amazing game. So, but before anything, just rest assured that I'm not going to spoil, spoil the story here. I'm not going to show you major boss fights. I'm just showing regular gameplay right at the beginning. So just rest assured, this is this video has no spoilers. So I played the first God of War in 2018, you know, the, the new, the reboot of the series, you know, the way the, the new design of Kratos and the story between a father and son. And I loved it. If you haven't played that game, just put God of War aside. Go to go 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 get that game that game and just play it. Just you know, I'm just rambling here, but you know, just go ahead and play the 2018 version before playing this one. What I love about this this also about God of War Ragnarok is before you start the game, you can actually um, do like a uh, do a recap from the original game so you see some scenes of the original game so that it was so cool to kind of refresh your memories and about what happened but uh, for me it was so impactful that I never forgot what I experienced in 2018 and now what I'm experiencing still in 2022 with Ragnarok um, just a, a uh, side story uh, when I play when I saw the release for the original God of War 2018 that was the reason I bought a PS4 Pro that was the system seller for me and when I just heard about the God of War Ragnarok I said no I need to play this on a new console the PS5 and although it works on the PS4 you know it, it runs really well on PS5, so I don't, I don't care if it's not fully developed for the next gen, next gen console. It still looks amazing. So now going back to Ragnarok, um, it just you know the voice, it, Kratos is, is still voiced by the actor Christopher Judge, and it was just it's just amazing. The voice, you know, the acting is it, just so superb that I found myself saying I can't believe this is actually playable or the feeling like oh I'm so happy I I have the privilege to experience uh, this game uh, you know it's in a, in a very humbling way it, it, it is just just a fantastic um, experience and and I hope many of you will have a chance to play, whether it would be on a PS4 or a PS5, and hopefully, and I say hopefully, in a few years on PC. Anyways, um, this, uh, uh, it, it, the God of War Ragnarok starts with a bang, as expected. It feels like you just started where you were left off from the pre previous, uh, previous game, with a little bit of extra, but man, when I say extra, it is in such a good way. I just loved what they did. Everything is more. Everything is intense. Critters in, is intense. You see the uh, age, uh, Atreus is growing up. You know, have, he has questions about what happened. You know, or what's gonna happen to him. He needs answers. You know, they're always going through this. You know, daily trainings and things are happening. And, you know, the Kratos is struggling to raise his son in the best way as possible. And it, 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 it's, and if, and Kratos is still uh, struggles, uh, you know, to connect with his son emotionally. And there are some sense of humor. So I, I confess that I, I, I dropped some tears. Actually, I dropped a lot of tears because I, you know, I'm so emotional. And, but then, I laugh also. That was a lot of sense of humor. I know Alana Pierce is also in a, in a part of part, she's part of the writing uh, team. 
And if you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, Alana Pierce, please go to her channel and uh, you know she she rocks and and it's I think when I see when I heard the sense of humor and I thought about her because she's her her cont she as a content creator she's she's also very funny and and the combat feels great um, do you you know it it feels weird you had to upgrade your gear <laughs> because. I was fully upgraded in the last game. Then I'm like, oh yeah, I have to upgrade this one. But there's some fantastic tweaks, the way the runes work. And it's it's just, it's mind blowing. The sound, amazing. This is my first game on PS5. And, you know, just the, the effects of the controller, uh, it was amazing. It's just, it feels great. Um, I'm a primary, primarily an Xbox a gamer. I have an Xbox and I love my Xbox, the Game Pass and everything. But I have a, a, a heart uh, also. My, my Sony is also part of my of my journey as a gamer and it always will be. And it's it's just, you know, it sets the, the tone for what a single play experience should be. You know, you don't need to have a blockbuster every year but once you have it's just it's just fantastic so anyways i'm not going to i'm going to stop right here i don't think i need to grade this game i don't i don't grade any games and you know play for yourself and you know as long as you have fun the game is excellent the the game for me that is 10 out of 10 is the game that you like right so for me this is the game that i like so you know how I feel about it. So, anyways, and I, I, I just spend more most of my time just rambling about it here. But go ahead, uh, play God of War Ragnarok. I just don't want to spoil anything because I know it costs a lot of money to get the game, and I respect you also as the viewer and as a consumer. And I'm sure you we we are for a treat this 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 year. You know the crazy world right there. We can kind of escape and be part of this journey at least for for a, a few hours by the way the game is really long it's totally worth it well that's all for me i hope you like this video again please leave a like subscribe see you next time bye ciao ciao